Uh, next question, what are your thoughts on the idea that to be a successful YouTuber, you have to live in LA? I don't know. I mean, are we unsuccessful? Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're canceled. You're leaving some success on the table. Uh, there are definitely opportunities that are open to people in LA that we do not have here. Yeah, for I think sure. we should acknowledge that reality. That said, and um, I think you agree with this, that there seems to be this expectation that like you get kind of big on YouTube and the default next step is like, okay, now I've got to move to LA and get a manager and people and, do that. And be in a movie or something. And then their content all just sort of becomes the same. Like, no, I'm just talking about like people making YouTube videos. Okay. If you're just like a vlogger of your daily life and your beauty routine, you don't have to be in LA to do that. And I find no, a lot of the time you see... there's more opportunities for collaborations and event parties. There. there are, but I think a lot of viewers share this frustration that my favorite, you know, creator from small town, wherever, moves to LA, and then their content just kind of becomes like the content I see from everyone else. Yeah. I think you lose Fair something enough. when you, you leave your hometown. I think you lose something if you made your small town or whatever identity part of your channel narrative. That's then true. Then you lose something, and then viewers have the right to be frustrated with you. Yeah, I would say being Canadian is a part of your channel, but not necessarily living in Ottawa. Like, you could be painting your nails in a basement anywhere in the world, I guess. Right. But if I if we did just pick up yeah. and move to L.A., and then all of a sudden you started seeing me in people's Instagram stories at beauty event parties. Uh-huh. And I, would that be a good or bad thing? I don't know. Like, I... <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> like, not that I don't like beauty world. Like, I do. And I think it would be really cool to go to some of these events. And we have occasionally yeah. when, when we've been in L.A. But is it the life I want to live on a weekly basis? No. Yeah, L.A. is a nice spot to visit. I don't think we'd want to live there, despite the nice weather year round. Uh... But there are many, many cases of Canadian YouTubers who were successful, mm-hmm. who did move to L.A., and became i don't know like is did they get more successful i think there's opportunities like say what you want about lily singh but if she wanted to be the first bisexual woman of color to host a late night talk show that wasn't going to happen from her home in scarborough right yeah so i understand that like we're not begrudging or judging youtubers who move to the states to pursue those opportunities for sure i would say i'm a little sensitive to the way those youtubers uh, communicate the fact that they're leaving Canada uh, or when they communicate that they felt like they had to leave Canada or that Canada sucks fuck this place I'm well, out. no one's really doing that right no, but, but they, just that kind of feeling that sentiment has come yeah. out in some people's uh, and may, work. maybe that's unfair too because I think I sort of hold Canadian youtubers a bit to a higher standard just because I'm proud to be Canadian and I like to think of Canadian society as a little less individualistic than the states a little less narcissistic maybe right so when i see a canadian youtuber who is narcissistic i think that bothers me more or if i see a canadian youtuber leave canada and like be celebrating the fact they get to leave that kind of rubs me the wrong way like there's a another really big creator from ottawa who got successful at a really young age super creative great at editing and storytelling but yeah i find her content like incredibly narcissistic and whenever i see it i'm like this it just doesn't seem canadian to me to be so self-absorbed and self-obsessed and then when they did recently move to the states the video they made announcing it was like you know ottawa you're a bit of a small shithole town that i got too big for so i decided Mm -hmm. to leave and here's my going away present a big picture of my face on a billboard and i just thought like wow that's like the opposite of what i want to think of a canadian youtuber being this is l mills you're talking about yeah might as well Every, just, everyone knows what i'm it. talking about I, I don't know i think she's young i don't want to shell over her yeah, and there's far worse people on youtube than her doing despicable things right. to me that just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth yeah the the leaving ottawa and like almost giving the middle finger on your way out kind of thing it was i don't a think little she sour thought in my it mind. was that way but like she's also someone who's kind of but isn't she also someone who built her popularity on being the small town girl in this like town with nothing to do i'm so canadian like so that's kind of how she i don't know her she, she she built a, a brand through a very unique style but like even looking at her old videos it was a lot of like 
kind of like harassing her old high school like she's one of those people that's like a darling of YouTube and when I look at her content I'm like this is kind of like a prank channel and like super self-absorbed I don't know I want to be sensitive I know people love her and really defend mm -hmm. her I'm not trying to say she's a bad person we're not saying that. no we're just but, talking uh, about her her decision as someone who lived in Ottawa which we currently do mm -hmm. to leave to leave and move to LA but make a video about how she was so happy she was leaving Ottawa <laughs> I think we're being overly sensitive too maybe yeah probably because we're biased Canadians we're sorry <laughs> we're so I'm sorry Al Mills. I'm so I'm sorry <laughs> but just to uh, generally answer the question again I I don't think you have to move anywhere to be a successful YouTuber. Uh, is that there, sort of the beauty of are, YouTube Exactly. Too? Like yeah. you can do what you want as long as it's possible to do in a room anywhere. Like me painting my nails, sure. I could in theory do it. That doesn't mean that we're, we're, you know, completely forgetting about the fact that we are missing opportunities. There were TV, sh not TV shows, YouTube shows that I was invited to be on that we had to turn down twice over the past couple of years because there have been some tv shows like there yeah you've turned yeah, down some real because it just it didn't yeah. make sense it's also because i have a day job but that's another reason yeah. but just being able to pick up and go to la and go on the shoot in two weeks like isn't gonna happen for me living in canada if i lived in la it would be way more manageable to go yeah. to these things meet managers get more brand deals do some makeup collabs sure. like that's not happening here which season of escape the night were you supposed to be on do you remember uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should we? It, are we supposed to say? I this? don't know. It, I don't think it was. I don't think it's a secret because I never did sign a contract because I ultimately couldn't do it. Couldn't do it because you're like I gotta work yeah. my desk job. But that can. It, it is true. Joey, um, Joey Grisava did ask me if I wanted to be, and I think it was season two or three. I can't remember. And then I actually asked my boss and <laughs> it just it wasn't gonna work out timing wise. Yeah. And then he asked me again the following year, and I couldn't do it again. And I don't yeah. blame him for not asking me a third time. <laughs> But like that's an, yeah. that's a really good example of kind of like a sacrifice, I guess. Sure. But also so, like your anxiety, which you've talked about before. Would have made it really difficult. I don't think you really kind of want to be on shows like that. Or those, as, I, as flattering as it is to be asked. I probably would have gone, but hoped that I died first, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just lose the first competition on purpose. Yeah. Okay. Okay.